Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory, Abba, Father. As long as you don't accept the child of God, he cannot harm you. Don't allow fear. Hear me very well. When you don't accept it, it cannot harm you. This is a poison that I'm hearing so deeply in my spirit. Let it be through dream that they come to poison your body. And maybe you woke up and you see yourself eating what you have already prayed against that you don't want to eat in the dream. You don't want to drink anything in the dream, but suddenly you find yourself in it. You find yourself in it. Don't be afraid. Whenever you woke up, plead the blood of Jesus and reject the food. It is what you accept that have the capacity to rest in your body. Okay? Because uh, this message is, is like witches that keep preparing food to feed people. And most of us, we cannot resist the food. So you find yourself eating it in the dream. Some, after eating it, you don't even remember. You don't even know if you dream or you did not dream. Now, child of God, well, the message is what God had me to tell you. Say, don't accept it. Because when you sit down, you start blaming yourself. Ah, I have eaten again. Oh, I thought I pray and fast. This food, though, they want to poison me. Oh, they want to kill me. Oh, you know, fear comes in. And the devil is trickish. Fear is one thing that he uses to attack our faith you understand fear is one thing that he uses to attack our faith glory to jesus yes we know that the food they serve in the dream the drink the different thing that they brought we know that they are poisonous we know that they are diseases we know that there are different kinds of things from witches kitchens from marie kitchens we know we know all of this and we pray against it when you find yourself in it don't accept it you understand if you have accepted the food because your spirit man could not reject it it is okay don't condemn yourself when you wake up reject the food it is what you accept that can settle down in your body it is what you like and say i love this food let it settle in my body that is when they can have infants there is something called the blood of yeshua and that blood of jesus christ it is our sacrifice and nothing can resist that blood. You need to understand that even the food that you ate in the dream cannot resist the blood of Jesus. Take the blood. Take water. Bless the water. Plead the blood of Jesus upon that water. Drink it. There is a power in the word of God. There is power. The Bible says he changed water. He changed it to wine. Hallelujah. Take anointing oil. Pray on it. Plead the blood of Jesus upon it. And take a little out of it. Anoint yourself. Pray for yourself. But the anointing, the Bible recorded, that yoke shall be broken. Hallelujah. That yoke shall be broken. Glory to Jesus. The effect of that food, the moment you start to plead the blood of Jesus, let me tell you, child of God, the effect will be nullified. Even those that are feeding you, they will be afraid because they will see that the agenda that they have through that food that they are feeding you with, it is not happening. The food they feed you with, they have an agenda. They have a plan with that food. That is why they came to feed us with those useless food. <laughs> they have plans. That is why they come and say, eat this, eat this. But when they see that their plan did not manifest, what happened? Automatically, they realize that they are failures. They are failures. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Bible says, you shall tread upon serpent and scorpion. They shall by no means hurt you. Even if they have fed you with scorpion, they have fed you with that serpent. Through the blood of Jesus, you kill the serpent and you kill the, the, the snake and you flush it out from your body. You become whole. Don't allow fear to come in. No man can kill a destiny that God says it is when God says it is not their time to die. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Have this mindset that you will not die in the hands of witches and wizards. Have this mindset. 
It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.